Marissa, thank you. The Clark County Commission will remain a Democrat stronghold when four members are sworn in later on this morning following a contentious election season. Two of those members are new to one of the most powerful positions in the state with control over the strip. 13 Action News reporter Sean Delancey joins us live to introduce you to your new representatives. Sean. Yeah, clean it, Dave. Whether or not these uh, a lot of people will likely recognize these officials that are going to be sworn in later this morning each bringing years of political experience to uh, the commission to try and solve a lot of the issues that are going to be popping up in 2021 four members will be sworn in include two who retained their position commissioner michael naft and commission chair marilyn kirkpatrick both cruised to a relatively wide margin of victory. Joining them is former Secretary of State Ross Miller and head of the Democratic Party, William McCurdy II. Commissioner Naft says the new members will help them tackle wide ranging issues from the coronavirus pandemic to the ailing economy and more mundane tasks that are no less important to our health and safety. When it comes down to it, I think everybody wants a robust public health system that's going to look out for them. I think everybody uh, wants uh, law enforcement that's going to be responsive, fire department that's going to be available to them when they need it. McCarty cruised to victory in his District D race over independent David L. Washington, but Miller's victory was very different. Miller squeezed out a tight win over Las Vegas City Council Mayor Pro Tem Stavros Anthony, taking the lead by just 15 votes after a recount. Anthony is still fighting his loss in court, pledging to take the case to the Nevada Supreme Court in an attempt to force a special election in the district. Still, all four members of the uh, commission will be sworn in at 8.30 this morning at the Clark County Government Center. Sean Delancey, 13 Action News.